Good morning, and welcome to another episode we like to call Chicken Garden with Ashley and Johnson. Today we're going to be cobbing and bottling. I did not record the three hours of cutting glass, cleaning glass, and taping glass that we did this morning. Whoa. Because some people are just kind of tired of watching us cut glass. And I agree. I'm tired of editing cutting glass. I will say, though, you know, there's something to be said for showing what actually goes into a project like this versus, like, we like making the quick, like, recap versions mm -hmm. where it looks like it goes really fast, but we also want to make sure... You don't think it's too easy, because it's not easy. It's not. <laughs> Just know, there was three hours of preparing the glass bottles before today. And you didn't film Before any. this. Well, I did a few time lapses, but it wasn't much. Right, right, I got it. Didn't so, want to bore anybody. Right, 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 right. Okay, so, your mountaining over here. Uh, my, what was supposed to be an arch that turned into something else. Uh -huh. Yes, we're going to go with the mountain theme. And like it, it. it's going to look like I planned it. Uh-huh. But I didn't. Okay. And we're just gonna roll with it. So I've got a ton of bottles cut. I'm ready to do a bunch of cobbing. You're mm -hmm. gonna be laying bags. Where I'm laying bags. Back From the opening to the coop. Over the buck, over the bucket, right? Yeah. Um, if you have time, you could also do this little section here. Mm, maybe. I kind of need to wait till you start doing bottles of food, right? Talking over there, they try not to stare, but you like what you see. Moon walking on the air, yeah, it ain't even fair, so on top of the beat. Better listen up, we about to make it happen. So hot, we burn it up. Today on Tiny Shiny Tuesday, we're going back to Talking Irons because we love it so much. We're going to get all the things and tell you all about it. Okay, let's go. Thing. All the goodies have been acquired. We'll go home and show you what they are. Okay, it's time 
to show you what we have. We have chais for Ada, Adelaide, Dad, me, caramel latte, hot chocolate. I like it. Now, the chai, guys. This is a special drink that you can only order at Talking Irons. It's called the Tiny Chiny. And it's chai with coffee ice cubes. It's delicious. Go order it. Also, strawberry rosemary stone. Thank Who had that? I think we're sharing them. Another strawberry rosemary. Thank you very much. Strawberry rosemary. Thank you very much. <laughs> Those are all mine. Ham and cheese. Ada Thanks wanted that Ada. one. Um, chunky monkey. Yeah. Uh, cranberry orange. Wait, what's chunky monkey? Chunky, I don't know. Chocolate chips. Chocolate no. chips go. Is yeah. it and banana in it too? Yeah. A lot of these are gluten free too, right? Yes. The green chili cheddar, which we absolutely love, is a gluten free scone. And it's amazing. Okay. Now, we also, because it's lunchtime, we also got some sandwiches for all of us to share. So we got two of the Tuco Special, which is like a turkey and tomato and deliciousness. All in a sandwich. Look at this. It's beautiful. Mm. Now, this is my favorite. It's a caprese. No meat. Look at this. House-made focaccia. House-made pesto with local garlic. I mean, mm. I mean, mm. I think about this sandwich all the time. <laughs> so we're very excited. We're going to eat it all. <laughs> oh, and for dessert. Carrot cake. It's the best I've ever had. I love it. Okay, you guys ready to eat? going my way cause that would be boring spend my last cent on cheese and champagne what a wonderful morning never mind she declined to the first day it was only on my birthday never mind all the lines on the highway give me time to reflect a bit how was it delicious but now we're stuffed oh my goodness i can't believe we ate can we go take a nap please let's go take a nap <laughs> Jonathan wants me to tell you something. <laughs> Talk about your mountain. Uh, I'm still not happy about it because it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. It still looks good. But we're going to do a series of three mountains on each side. Yeah. And There'll be different sizes and stuff. So, so this one is almost the same size as the big one. So this, this one will be a little smaller. smaller. Yeah. Okay. It's not an arch. We're almost done with the Cobb Mountains, so it's time to start making dirt for the earth bags. Yeah. 
<laughs> we about fell. We about fell in the ditch. It's pandemonium here at the end of the day. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that was a fun day. Yeah, we've we've got some stuff done. Yeah. But we didn't work into the wee hours of the night. Yeah. Uh, feeling good. Yeah. Feeling good about it. Although, I did make so many bottles today, and I used all of them up. Oh, no. Are you serious? I have four left. So, you got to make like 400 more. Mm-hmm. We need to count how many you had to use. We should. Let's go do that real fast. Patiently waiting on my dreams to come true. Hoping and praying one day that they do. Oh, I don't know how and I don't know when. Just patiently waiting till then. 97 bottles. So that's Double that. 200. Oh, basically my God. 200 bottles. That's a lot of bottles. Jeez. <laughs> so by the time you do the other side, it will be almost 400 bottles. Yep. In one section. That doesn't Jeez. count all the other bottles that we did in the middle of the wall. It doesn't also count all the broken bottles. <laughs> <laughs> that we have to replace. That's no, okay. Anyway, big productive day. Felt mm. good about it. Yeah. I'm much more happy with our mountainscape than the messed up archway. Arch. That's okay. I think it looks good. <laughs> okay. Um, so what are we doing next? Does this mean you just have to go cut a ton more bottles again? Basically. Guys, you're going to have to watch your cut bottles. Another problem with my bottle issue is, apparently nobody rinses out their wine bottles. So, there's a nice thick layer of red wine in a lot of them. Oh, we didn't clean them out when we got them. I never cleaned them out, no. Yeah. Uh, so, it takes a little bit longer, because once you cut them, you have to soak them. Then right. you have to get a brush and get in there and get it out. I'm going to be way less picky on this, though, than if it was our house. Sure. If it's yeah. our house, I'm going to make sure those bottles are very clean. The chickens aren't going to be like, hey, I see there's, a spot there's in my wine in that jar. It's blocking my sun. Bok, bok. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Yeah, I don't think the chickens will care too much, so I'm not going to no, worry about it. It'll be fine. It's okay. Anyway, more bottle work coming your way tomorrow. More bottles. The next episode of Tiny Shiny Homesteaders. Wait, what was it? <laughs> You don't know our name? Hyper Adobe Homesteaders. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. I think we should change our name. No. Can we have a shirt that says Hyper Adobe Homesteaders? That we could do. Okay. But I'm not making it. <laughs> End That's of the day, job. guys. We, we are wrapping it up. And guess what? We will see you tomorrow. Mm -mm. Finger drums? Laser fingers. <laughs> <laughs>